One year has passed since SpongeBob battled Darkseid, and life in Bikini Bottom has been great. Everything was pretty much back to normal. But on one fine day, SpongeBob was leaving his house. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Such a sunny day today. Then the sky darkened a little. Hey Squidward, did you see anything on the news about a storm? Well, now that you mention it, SpongeBob, no, I haven't. Then the two heard a strange sound. Patrick heard the commotion as well. What was that? I don't know, Patrick. That sound was unlike any thunder I've ever heard. Then they saw a strange shadow swimming towards them. Guys, there's something over there, and it's getting closer. You're right, Squidward. It is getting closer. Then the creature came into view. What is that thing? I believe that's a Mosasaurus. But that's impossible. They've been extinct for over 60 million years. I don't smell anything, Squidward. No, Patrick. Extinct. Oh. Well, what does extinct mean? Extinct means an organism that existed at one point but doesn't anymore. Well, what's it doing here? Then the Mosasaurus let out a loud roar. Um, guys, it doesn't look too friendly. Should we run for our lives? Great idea. And the trio started running from the Mosasaurus, with said creature chasing after them. Quick, you guys, to the Krusty Bucket! When they got to the Krusty Bucket, SpongeBob explained the situation to Mr. Krabs. A Mosasaurus, you say? I thought those things were supposed to be extinct. That's what I said, Plankton. The Mosasaurus could grow to be 60 feet long and weigh about 15 tons. Did someone say something about a Mosasaurus problem? You heard correctly, Sandy. I encountered one once. It was during my Texas days. I was at a beach with my sister once. And when we went in the water, that's when we encountered one. How did you survive, Sandy? I taught it a lesson it would never forget and sent it back to the Cretaceous. Um, speaking of Mosasaurus, it's here. And sure enough, the Mosasaurus was approaching the Krusty Bucket. The Mosasaurus attacked SpongeBob and his friends. Oh no you don't. Ah yeah. And Sandy started wrestling with the creature. Yeah, go Sandy! The Mosasaurus, fed up with Sandy, whacked her with his tail and knocked her unconscious. D damn Sandy just got KO'd. I think it's time we should run. Agreed. And the rest of the gang made a run for it, while SpongeBob carried an unconscious Sandy on his back. It's gaining on us! Not for long. The friends found a cave and went inside and the Mosasaurus swam away for trying to get in the cave was not worth the effort. Phew, we're safe. For now. Well, SpongeBob, what are we gonna do about that creature? Well, we'll have to think of something fast. That thing is trying to find another way in the cave as we speak. I have an idea. I'm the smallest one here, so I can easily sneak past the Mosasaurus and get help. But what about the rest of us? Don't worry, you guys. Help is on the way. When Plankton left, the rest of the gang were trying to figure out a way to get out of the cave. Okay, we need to figure out a way to get rid of the Mosasaurus. Hmm. How about we trap the monster? Great idea, Patrick. But SpongeBob, how are we supposed to get out of the cave without the Mosasaurus spotting us? Leave that to me, Sandy. While Squidward darted out of the cave to distract the Mosasaurus, the rest of the gang made a break for it, and they didn't stop until they got back to the Krusty Bucket. When they got to the Krusty Bucket, SpongeBob began to think. He grabbed a pencil and a notebook and started writing down some notes. Okay, so we need to build some kind of trap to catch this Mosasaurus. But SpongeBob, how are we supposed to build a trap big enough to catch the Mosasaurus? I have a net back home, but it's way too small. That's it! Sandy, grab your net. We can expand it and eventually make a net big enough to capture it. 
forget my dumb idea. That's great. What was your idea, Patrick? I was going to say we should cause a rock slide and push the Mosasaurus into a ravine. But I like your idea more. We can do both. Sandy, I want you to go to your tree dome and grab that net. On it, SpongeBob. Mr. K, you stay on the lookout for the monster. Aye, aye. Patrick, you're coming with me. All right, buddy. Meanwhile, Squidward was still running away from the Mosasaurus, with the creature pursuing him. Soon, he bumped into Plankton. Squidward, what are you doing here? No time to explain. We have to go. He then grabbed Plankton and made a run for it. Hey, what's the big idea, Squidward? A roar answered his question. Oh, that's the big deal. Squidward, we have to get back to the Krusty Bucket and call the police. <sighs> that's a long way from here. I don't think I can make it. Never fear. I always wanted to use this jetpack. Luckily, the jetpack was strong enough to send Squidward flying. And they jetted all the way to the Krusty Bucket. They stopped, but not before crashing into a toilet. When they got out of the toilet, Squidward explained the situation. You led that monster to us? He's far behind us now thanks to that jetpack I had. Guys, you don't understand. Sandy's out there. Well, what? Well, why are we just standing here? We should do something. Well, where did she go anyway? She went to grab her net. We were going to expand her net so it would be big enough to capture the Mosasaurus. Well, we can't just sit here like barnacle heads. We have to do something. Wait. I may have an idea. SpongeBob, do you still have that giant jellyfishing net? You mean the one I used to capture the king jellyfish? That same one. Okay, but I don't know where it is. I'll have to go back to my house to look for it. I'll go with you, buddy. None of us should be alone. Patrick's right, and while we're out, we'll look for Sandy. All right, but you boys be careful. Can do, Mr. K. So SpongeBob and Patrick went to look for Sandy. When the two got to Sandy's tree dome, they looked around, but Sandy was nowhere to be seen. However, they did find a giant crack on her dome. Yep, the monster was here, all right. Do you think it ate Sandy? Of course not, Patrick. Sandy's fine. I hope. Meanwhile, at the Krusty Bucket, Mr. Krabs was worried about SpongeBob and Patrick, for they have not returned yet. So he, along with Squidward and Plankton, went out to look for them. When they got to SpongeBob's house, they couldn't see SpongeBob anywhere. But they did find the giant net. This'll do perfectly. Um, Krabs, I hate to be the voice of reason, but isn't it illegal to break into someone's house? Never mind that now, we've got the net, let's go find our friends. Meanwhile, SpongeBob and Patrick were leaving Sandy's house with the net. Then they heard a familiar roar. Holy fish paste, it's the Mosasaurus! And sure enough, the Mosasaurus was swimming around, with Sandy on top of his back. SpongeBob and Patrick rushed over to Sandy. Sandy, are you alright? For now, I'll hold him off, SpongeBob. You go get the others. And the two did not hesitate to run away. On their way back, they bumped into Mr. Krabs. Oh, boys, thank Neptune you're alive. Where's Sandy? Sandy's all right for now, but she's currently tackling the Mosasaurus. We don't have time to lose. Is this the net you used, SpongeBob? That's the exact one, Plankton. And we managed to get Sandy's net. Now to combine the two together. But how long can Sandy hold on for? SpongeBob and the gang wasted no time assembling the net. And it wasn't long before the police showed up with tranquilizers at the ready. It took a long time, but they were eventually able to assemble the net. And done. Now to get Sandy to lure the beast here. Sandy, the net is finished. I need you to lure that Mosasaurus over to the crusty bucket so we can trap it. You got it, SpongeBob. Sandy quickly drove the creature to the crusty bucket. When they were within view, SpongeBob prepared the net. SpongeBob, what are you waiting for? Throw the net! Not yet, Squidward. The monster got closer. Now! And Mr. Krabs wasted no time throwing the net. The net captured the beast and the police proceeded to tranquilize it. Yes, it's working! Then they heard a 
loud snap. The animal broke free from the net and charged at SpongeBob and his friends. But luckily, an officer was able to shoot a tranquilizer at it, and the creature eventually went down. It worked! We did it! Yeehaw! For a second there, I thought we were goners. Well, I'm glad that's over with. The creature was transferred to another part of the ocean, and Bikini Bottom was safe once again. That is at least for now.